Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I wish I knew before starting pharmacy school. So, let's get right into this video. So the first thing I wish I knew, and I feel like the number one question I get asked the most is, how hard is pharmacy school? And I never really know how to answer this question. I feel like every time I answer this question, I answer it differently based on the person that's asking me. So I feel like this is the best way to answer is to say that like, it's not really the information that's very, very challenging. It's more about the quantity of the information that you're getting is overwhelming. So like the hardest part for me in terms of pharmacy school was when I had basically an exam or a quiz every single week, if not multiple exams or a quiz in a single week. And that would constantly happen every single week for like basically a couple of semesters. And I think that's probably the most challenging part. So for me, that's why I always talk about how it's important to understand how to study and how to study efficiently for yourself. And I think once you're able to find a good system that works for you in terms of how to process information, understand information very well, memorize or recall information as well as apply it, that's when you're able to actually feel like you're on top of your work. Because it's very, very easy to get outpaced in terms of all the things that you're getting thrown at. And you have to feel like you're studying every single day and your exam is going to come up very, very soon. So I would constantly be left back. So it's very, very important you find an efficient system that works best for you so that you can study very, very effectively. The second thing that I wish I did before studying pharmacy school was just understanding the different career paths you can take after getting your degree. And I think the number one thing that most people think of when I think of pharmacy is like they think of the traditional hospital pharmacist or like the retail pharmacist that works at a drugstore. And it's very, very interesting now that I've been talking to a lot of different pharmacy graduates and seeing where they are now as well as how they got there. And it's so interesting to see how these people are doing so many different things outside of the traditional roles that I just said. And now I've seen people doing some medical writing. I've seen people doing healthcare consulting as well as directors of organizations or directors of pharmacy. And not even including that, like you can do also like a residency or even a fellowship. Like a residency, you can do like such things as like internal medicine, um, infectious diseases, hematology, oncology, like there's so many different things you can do in residency and then not even including fellowships where you can do so many different other things as well in functional areas you can apply yourself. I think that's very promising for a student because it just shows you that like there's no one size fits all. There's no here's your exact path. You can do so many different roles in healthcare or in pharmacy in general later on down the line. So the third thing that I wish I knew before studying pharmacy school is kind of related to the second point but basically it's just to explore opportunity as a student. Because as a student, you don't really know about a lot of things besides just exams and quizzes. So if you're actually able to understand these different roles I laid out and the second point, you can actually tailor your experience as a student and intern at different places or do some uh, fellowships outside of pharmacy or in the pharmacy role or shadow person ahead of time. So that way you can actually pave the way for yourself in the future. Nowadays, a lot of people are talking about how pharmacy is very competitive or very saturated. So if you're able to actually understand the different roles that people are playing and you're actually able to shadow them, that can actually help you in terms of writing down your CV or resume as well as understanding your interests. And that's going to pave the way for yourself because the only way to beat competition is like being different. So if you're able to understand what you're interested in, that's going to pave the way for yourself versus everyone else. And you're not doing what everyone else is doing. So that's going to be the biggest impact for you once you graduate or once you want to do later on down the line. So that's going to be the three things I wish I knew before starting pharmacy school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.